Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one. I've been delaying this type of video for months and months, but it's finally time to show you guys my Blu-ray and DVD movie collection. I'm not going to include the, my TV series or like my music DVDs and that. It's just going to be straight up movies. Now a little disclaimer, I've been only collecting movies really since 2017. I did a lot as a kid in the 90s and early 2000s with VHS and DVD, but I got rid of most of them. Stupid me, right? And just the last maybe four years or so, I've been getting back into it. And as you can see, that's where uh, a lot of my money has went, unfortunately, <laughs> for my bank account. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. My allergies is killing me, but this is the only day I have to do this, so I'm going to dive into it anyway. So I'm going to start with my horror packs, then my compilations, like two or three movies per DVD and that. I'll show those. And I'll go straight up A to Z, alphabetical order. So let's kick things right off. So starting off my horror packs, I got Live Scream. This is 37. Neat little uh, video game horror movie. Uh, Malignant, starring uh, Brad Door of Chucky himself. That's number 38. We got Hilarious. This is a really cheap anthology film. Uh, it, it was worth the one time watch. Number 39. This is Hexing. Never seen it. Echoes of Fear. These are all in order. I'm Dreaming of a White Doomsday Christmas Horror. 42. Johnny Gruesome. 43, Clickbait, 4, Rewind, this one I have to check out, I like time travel stuff and it looks something like that, but I'm not sure because there's literally nothing written on this one, it's number 45, and Nefarious, 46, Bong of the Living Dead, Ooh, I'm losing them. Bong of the Living Dead, 47. This one was uh, interesting. It was pretty funny, some parts. Cruel Will. Witch's Brew. This one's kind of interesting looking, too. I've been meaning to check out 49. Are no. Agoraphobia. Tony Todd, 50. Betsy. 51. The Burn. I was kind of saving this one for next October, but I'll probably watch it earlier than that because this looks so cool. 52. Bloodline. A Cadaver Christmas. I heard this one was okay from uh, Horror Heather. She told me this was alright. I want to check this one out too. It's 54. Crazy Too Crazy. And Werewolf, the last one I received. It's hard to see with this lighting. That's my horror packs. Moving on to my compilation. Don't have many of these. Just one stack. But I got Stephen King one here. It has The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift. All on DVD. This is a two-pack. Tragedy Girls and MFA. Tragedy Girls is awesome. It's Really great movie. Uh, MFA, I have not watched yet. Here's a revenge flick. Priest and Legion, two-pack. I remember watching Priest when it came out. It was pretty good. And I uh, have not seen Legion yet. <laughs> Ted, one and two, plus Flash Gordon. A random mix, but uh, I have yet to see Flash Gordon. Ted, one and two are pretty hilarious, though. So. Oh, these are the B movies now. Two-Headed Shark Attack and Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus. These are interesting. You have to be in the right mood to watch these. Have the right mindset. Uh, Three-pack of Carrie, Misery, and Silence of the Lambs. This is the MGM uh, 90th anniversary little pack. My light's a little bright, but nothing I can do about that. Uh, Two-pack of Bruce Campbell. 
Man with the Screaming Brain, and Alien Apocalypse. Interesting, uh, really low-budget films. <laughs> That's all I have to say about those. Four-pack of Scorpion King, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, and Cull. When you're in the fantasy type, uh, barbarian type movies, I guess. Now on to the alphabet. Starting with numbers. We got 28 Days Later. Great little zombie, if you want to call it. Type flick. Freaky as hell. We got the sequel here, 28 Weeks Later. We got 30 Days a Night. Love this vampire movie. Always gotta love a good snow setting for a horror movie. 47 meters down. Shit, it's so bright. 47 meters down. Love that shark movie. Don't care for the sequel. Now we're on to the A's. ABC's of Death. A little anthology horror film. Accidental Exorcist. Age of Tomorrow. Uh, I only picked this up because Kelly, Hugh Kelly Hughes in it. It was in a cheap bin. Oh, I love this. The Alien Anthology, that's what it's called, has all four, the first four Alien films, like both cuts of them and a huge amount of uh, special features and documents. All cool stuff. Nice little case. I'll open it up real quick. See, it's like a booklet. Very cool. I think I showed that upside down. And there, I lost, I lost the rest of it. See, it's pretty cool stuff. The rest of these movies are probably out of order, so bear with me. Alien vs. Predator, that one's still in order. This popping out, but okay. Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2. I really enjoy 1 for what it is, and 2 is okay too, just very dark. The American. American Mary, an amazing, amazing flick starring uh, Catherine Isabel. Yes, she is awesome in pretty much everything, especially that movie. We got Annabelle, Annihilation, neat little sci-fi horror, Apocalypse Now. I'm, I'm not too into army movies, but this one's pretty cool, one of the better ones. We got Avengers Infinity War, my favorite movie in the MCU by a long shot. Now on to the Bs. We got Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, Batman vs. Superman, the Ultimate Edition, obviously. Gotta have that one. Then we move to Beetlejuice. Love, love Beetlejuice. Lots of nostalgia for that. I gotta get the rest of the Batman movies too. We got Behind the Mask, Rise of Leslie Vernon. One of my uh, personal favorites. I don't think it's talked about quite enough. Cool little half mockumentary, half slasher. A must watch for all slasher fans. The Belko Experiment. Love this too. It's like Battle Royale in an office. <coughs> Excuse me. It's it's amazing. It's written by James Gunn. So you know it's good. Good set of characters too. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Two films I also love. I love the first one obviously more than the second. Still got to pick up the new one. I got Billy Madison. One of my favorite Adam Sandler flicks. It's hilarious. And Black Bald with uh, Rob Corddry. Bobby Duke's story. Paintball film comedy with a lot of actors just starting out. Ed Helms, Rob Corddry, uh, a ton more. I can't even think of their names, but I just remember this being a hilarious, like really low budget film. All right, we got Black Christmas, the classic Canadian classic right here. One of the first big slasher movies. We got The Blob, a great, great remake. I love the, all the, just the gordonness is amazing, let alone the story and the characters. We got 
Blood Feast, Blood Fest, little uh, horror festival type movie, pretty good. Blood Sucking Bastards, I think I enjoyed this one more than I should have. <laughs> I was laughing a lot in it. It was pretty funny. We got the Born Trilogy, Born Legacy, and Jason Bourne. I have to admit, I've never seen any of these movies. I've just been collecting them when they're cheap. So I can watch them someday. <laughs> we got Brightburn, an awesome ass what if Superman was evil story. And answer to your question is he's brutal. Butterfly Effect 1 and 2. 1 is my favorite movie of all time and 2 is trash. So yeah. We got the Bye Bye Man, the one movie everybody seems to really hate and say it's one of the worst of all time. When I watched it, I was like, it's not great, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, so next we got Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. Can't believe this is the only one I own of all the Cabin Fever movies. <laughs> uh, Cabin in the Woods, an amazing uh, horror comedy that's very clever, 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 meta, and all that good stuff love it classic Candyman, the one of the best 90s horror movies captain america winter soldier a really good like spy thriller superhero movie it's very different from most of the movies in the mcu and i love it for that carrie probably stephen king's best that i've seen so far it is such an amazing film great acting great atmosphere just a killer Killer 70s film. Catch 44 with Bruce Willis. Catfish. The Children. Some of the creepiest children I've ever seen on film in this movie. Child's Play 2019. I like it. Christine. Uh, one of my personal favorite Stephen King films. Chronicles of Riddick, a very weird direction to take after Pitch Black, which is uh, one of my personal favorites. And this is, just, I have to rewatch it, it's been a while, but it's different. Climax, talk about different. First 45 minutes of this movie, not much going on, but then the acid kicks in because the characters accidentally take acid and they don't even know it and they all start freaking out. They're locked in like this. Weird place. I don't, it's just a trip, this movie. It really is. They're all part of a dance uh, group. It's really artsy, but frightening as hell at the same time. Cloverfield 3-pack. I like all these movies. Uh, the third one's the weakest, but I really enjoy 1 and 2. 2 is something else. Something completely different than the first, but it's great. Oh. Cobra, some Stallone, love me some Stallone, and I don't own enough Stallone. Next we have another underrated flick, Coherence. Pretty low budget, but the, the thoughts in this movie, the things they came up with, pretty amazing. Uh, about different dimensions and stuff, I don't really want to talk too much about it, but you look on the back, it's all like... Five stars raving, Rotten Tomato Sun. You know it's good. Paid a dollar for this. It's crazy. Commando. Probably one of the most quotable Arnold movies. He has so many one-liners in this. Condemned. Uh, modern. Uh, what do you say this? How would you say this? A modern classic? The Conjuring? It's a great newer horror movie we don't get enough of them also part two quirky romano on dvd it's just a quirky comedy <clears throat> excuse me just a bit too over the top maybe but still okay let's talk more over the top crank one and two two is this bongers to the walls one is okay uh, two is a little too much <laughs> We got Critters, four pack, one, two, three, four. People give this franchise quite a bit of shit, but four is bad. Three is bad, but I enjoy it so much. 
uh, the first Leonardo DiCaprio role, or one of his first. And then we get a uh, Critters 2 and 1, which are great. And to accompany that, Critters Attack, which was kind of a letdown. Well, it was a letdown. Take this big stack. We got The Darkness, Kevin Bacon. We got Dark Skies, one of the scarier alien flicks. We got Dead Ant, a movie I've been meaning to check out with Tom Arnold. Looks really cool. The Mutant Ant. Dead Dick. Dead Dicks, I should say. Really odd film. <laughs> I'll, say to, I'll say the least. Uh, Dead in Tombstone. Dead Danny Trejo. Dead Again in Tombstone. With Danny Trejo. Dead Mine. Got Dead Room. I gotta hold these all funny. Because of my light. It's bothering me. The Debt. Deep Blue Sea, a personal favorite of mine. Maybe kind of corny, but I love it. Demented, like an exploitation film from the early 80s. Not bad. Scream Factory. The Departed. Love, love, love this film. One of my favorite gangsterish type movies. Really good. Great cast. Detroit Rock City. Really great little kiss film. These guys trying to get to a KISS concert. Hilarious and a fun little adventure. Doctor Sleep. Uh, this and The Shining. I, I have a hard time to pick which is better. Because this makes The Shining better. Love this film. Both great movies. Get to The Shining later. The Domestics. I've been meaning to check this one out. Because uh, it's the same director as the new Wrong Turn movie. So yeah, interesting. Don't Breathe. Pretty good uh, little horror flick. I like that one. Number two is coming out soon. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Don't really care for it. Everybody seems to really like this one. I got the collector's edition here, but it just wasn't for me. I have to rewatch it, maybe. Dragged Across Concrete. A movie that's maybe a little too long for its own good, but it's good nonetheless. Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn. I liked it. But it could have been trimmed. And Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. Pretty decent flick. I like it. We got The Echo. A little ghost story. It was pretty, uh, eh, pretty middle of the road for me. Elizabeth Harvest. Another Scream Factory. One I didn't care for at all. Not my cup of tea. Elf. Christmas classic. Will Ferrell. Steals the show. Evil Dead 1 and 2. Love the hell of these movies. These have a lot of nostalgia for me. And there's kick-ass films with Bruce Campbell. And you can't have those two without Army of Darkness. This is the one that actually got me into the Evil Dead franchise at a young age. It's a really bonkers comedy. And then we got the serious remake, reboot, sequel, whatever you want to call it. Pretty good as well. Not a bad franchise. Exorcist. Just an iconic 70s flick that we all needed. Not my favorite, but I respect the hell out of it. This one, not my favorite, and I don't really respect it at all. <laughs> the Heretic, it's a shitty sequel. Part 3 is pretty good, but I don't own it. We got Expendables, the first one. This is pretty good, uh throwback to the old 80s action flicks bringing in all the 80s and 90s action stars together it was pretty good uh jessica alba uh, tongue twister jessica alba in the eye that's a, also a, i think a japanese remake or a foreign remake anyway next up we got fargo i like this film a lot it's like really i think it's set in like minnesota or somewhere it's the way they talk, they almost talk like uh, Canadian cartoon characters or something. It's a pretty interesting film from the Coen brothers. You should check it out. Fatal Attraction. Another movie not many people talk about. Uh, it has almost like a slasher ending. It's pretty good as well with uh, Michael Douglas. 
Final Girls. Now, this is a great film. Uh, it's like a satire on slashers while being a slasher itself. And it's hilarious. And we, we need a sequel to this. We got John Carpenter's The Fog. What a great ghost story. One of my favorites, actually. Uh, we got The Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Not a bad little flick. Don't mind it. We got The Forest. We got Freddy vs. Jason. We got Friday the 13th. The old little box set thing. Not box set, but movie collection. Uh, 1 through 8. Yeah, it's not a bad little Blu-ray set. We got the Part 3 on DVD with the old 3D glasses. And I think my disc is moving around. Nope, it's just the the 3D glasses moving around. And look, they're like Jason uh, glasses. Pretty cool. We got Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X on DVD because you couldn't get the Blu-rays before. We got the remake on Blu-ray. The final cut. We got the box set itself from Scream Factory with all the movies and documentaries and special features and all that good stuff. And I got my replacement disc, so we're good to go. It's a beautiful set. And I'm glad I picked it up while I had the chance. We got The Frighteners. Pretty good Michael J. Fox, a little ghost comedy. We got From Paris with Love, uh, John Travolta coming back in a way for just like one or two films. It was a pretty good action movie. Okay, we got Adam Sandler's worst movie I've ever seen, Going Overboard. I think this is like his first movie or one of them. It's just terrible and I own this forever. It's one that stuck with me. I guess I couldn't sell it. We got Goon, a great hockey movie. I love it with Sean William Scott. Got some heart to it too. Classic Gremlins. One I need to upgrade to Blu-ray. The Hollow. A weird little film with these woods creatures. Uh, a film no one has ever heard of. Just kidding. It's Halloween. It's a classic. Halloween 2. My favorite sequel. Halloween 3. The Black Sheep. Still a good film. Halloween 4, The Comeback. Halloween 5, eh. Halloween 6, H2O, and Resurrection. 6, I got the theatrical cut. Don't like the producers. Uh, I got H2O, it's okay. And Resurrection, well, it's pretty shit. Uh, 2018, I suppose. I suppose that's what's called pretty good hatchet 2 I have Victor Crawley 2 but it's it's in the V's I'm guessing I like uh, pretty much all the hatchet franchise just don't take it too seriously Hellboy oh, I was always a fan of this this comic book film the new one that came out sucked though Hellraiser 1 and 2 what I hear is the two better ones in the series Three and four are not bad too, from what I hear, but this is only two I've ever seen. Only two I own. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, one and two, the remakes. I've only seen the first original one. I haven't seen the second, the sequel from the 70s or 80s. Don't know when it came out, but I like them all. All the ones I've seen, I enjoy. Hocus Pocus. I just watched this for the first time last October. It was pretty fun. The Hole, eh, not bad, it felt like a, uh, not Goosebumps, but Are You Afraid of the Dark episode, and Hot Fuzz, an Edgar Wright classic, I like all of his movies, especially this one, and another one we will get to, next up we got I Am Legend, pretty good flick, but the CGI kind of kills it. Ink Heart was given to me. Never seen it. Insidious. This one's creepy as hell. 
and so is part three. We got The Invasion. Uh, I think this is a remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I have not watched it. Iron Man. The start of the MCU. Great, great flick. Iron Man 2. It's okay. Iron Man 3. It's okay. It, the miniseries. Pretty good. Um, maybe a little outdated, but good regardless. It 2017, a great uh, retelling of an old classic, except for chapter two sucked. We got Jaws, one of the best, or the best shark movie ever made. Jaws 2, great follow up, like a slasher almost. Just repeats a few too be many beats, I would say. Jaws 3, another fun one if you ignore the 3D and just take it as a fun SeaWorld movie. With a shark running around. Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Pretty good films. Despite the director. Judge Dredd. Stallone film. Uh, I don't own the remake. But I do enjoy that too. But this is just a fun a fun one. Nothing too great. But. Uh, Jumanji. The first uh, one with The Rock. Not bad. Uh, I like the old one too. I need to pick that one up. But this one was better than the new sequel that came out. It's pretty funny. Jurassic Park. One of the best movies ever made. One of the best dinosaur movie ever made. You also got the sequel, Lost World. It's pretty good, like the city parts. Jurassic Park 3. Don't care for this one at all. And Jurassic World, which I found was pretty good. A lot of people didn't like, though. Also, don't own Fallen Kingdom, but whatever. Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Probably, if not Pulp Fiction or this is my favorite of Tarantino. Excuse me. I also got the DVD of Part 2 for some reason. Knocked Up. Hilarious comedy with Seth Rogen. And a Christmas classic in Krampus. We got sadly the only Romero flick I own. Land of the Dead, which is not even close to being one of my favorites. The Langoliers, pretty impressive little miniseries with not so impressive CGI. Stephen King. We got The Last House on the Left, the original from Wes Craven. Pretty brutal stuff. Uh, I liked it though. Leatherface, only seen it once and it wasn't bad. But the more I think about it, the more I think... I won't like it on second watch. That's why I haven't put it in. But I will eventually. Leprechaun 1 to 3. Own this forever too. When did this come out? Doesn't say when this came out. But I've owned it for a long time. <laughs> 1, 2, and 3. I like all three of these films. They're fun. Life. Lights out, which would be pretty creepy if it happened in real life. Lords of Chaos, a little documentary or biopic on Lords of um, Mayhem, the black metal band. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and Return of the King. Long ass story, but pretty good. The Lost. The Lost Boys. It's really hard to see because it's white. But it's the trilogy. One, two, and three. The Tribe and the Thirst are on here too. Definitely not as good as the first, but still pretty good. I don't think they're as bad as what some people say. We got The Machine. Another white title. It's going to be hard to see. We got... Madagascar 2. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen part 1. Mad Max Fury Road. A pretty damn good movie, I'll have to say. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be that great. Maggie with Arnold. Man of Steel. Great uh, DC film. One of the better ones. Mars Attacks. 
This is a lot of nostalgia for this one too. A classic in my eyes. It used to scare the shit out of me too. Now it's just hilarious. Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark. Another one of those Sharknado type films. The Midnight Meat Train. Uh, an underrated. What is this? This was an adaptation of Clive Barker. Yeah, it's based on uh, Clive Barker's work, but it's a pretty decent flick. The Mind's Eye. Mission Impossible 6 movie set. All six movies that are out so far. It's a cool little set with like a this booklet. Like a, as if I'm a spy and all that cool stuff. Uh, the films just get better over the years. Aside from 5, which I just found mediocre. But 3, 4, uh, and 6 are great. The only one I don't really care for is 2. We got The Monkey King. Havoc in Heaven's Palace. Mutant. My Bloody Valentine Steelbook just came out. Beautiful film. I keep my heart for that film. And then the remake, which isn't as great as pe what people say, I don't think. Looks pretty good in 3D, though. Moving on, we got Nightmare on Elm Street. The set with all the films but the remake. It's a pretty good set, but we need a better one. I love me some My Nightmare on Elm Street, though. The first film is one of my favorite films of all time. This remake, however, is not so great. It's not the bottom of the barrel type of movie, but it's not great. It's not great. No Country for Old Men. Another Coen Brothers uh, film, like Fargo. Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen. Pretty good little action movies. I'm not a big action fan, but I like those films. Page Master. Now this was a a growing up film when I was a when I was a child. I used to watch this a lot growing up. A little fantasy film where he goes into each type of book: horror, adventure, fantasy. Panic, or this might be called Satanic Panic. I'm not sure still, but it's one I wanted to check out. I just got my horror pack. Patient Zero. Patrick. A remake of the old Patrick film. Phantasm 5 movie collection. I wasn't going to put out the dough for the Blu-ray just yet. Uh, I really like the first film. 2 and 3 are pretty good. And 4 I didn't really care for. And 5 garbage. Planet of the Apes trilogy. Who would have thought they would take those old Planet of the Apes films and make them into this. It's genius. It's a great, great trilogy. I think the first one is still my favorite, to be honest, Rise. We got Predator 3 film pack with 1, 2, and Predators. All good movies. Big fan of the first one, especially. A piece of my DVD just, Blu-ray just broke off. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, one of the only 4Ks I have. I don't even have a Blu-ray uh, 4K player, although my Xbox One will play it. Never seen it. Primal Fear. Uh, Edward Norton. Very great acting in this from him. And Richard Gere does a pretty good job too. Not a bad little movie. Not much rewatch ability out of it, I don't find though. The Prom Night remake. I give this movie shit, and yet it's the only Prom Night movie I own. Who would have thought? Prometheus. Another alien film but this time a prequel and has almost nothing to do with aliens still pretty good science sci-fi movie so we got the raid part one uh kick ass freaking film taking over an apartment building these bad guys this guy's going in and trying to rescue his brother while uh you know working for the swat at the same time and it's all like crazy ass fighting going on really good action flick Ready Player One, like a movie that crosses over so many franchises together in this video game. And this kid's just trying to trying to win because there's a prize if you beat the game. You get to own the game and get so much money. So, pretty cool. 
I liked it. A lot of people didn't like it because it's not like the book, but I don't read. The Reef. Great little shark flick. Well, okay. It's an okay shark flick. Resident Evil, the franchise. Uh, like I said many times, the first movie I love. Two and three are okay, and the rest, well, they're garbage. Return of the Living Dead, one of the best zombie movies ever made. It's just so fun. Rise. Blood Hunter. Lucy Liu. Rites of Passage. A film I liked way more than I thought I would. With uh, Christian Slater acting like a complete bonkers meth head in this. It's definitely worth checking out. The Road Warrior. Rob Zombie Trilogy. With House of Thousand Corpse. Uh, the Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell. I enjoy this trilogy quite a bit. They're all passable films. Oop. Rocky. We got all the Rocky films up to Rocky Balboa 2006. Yep. The set's nothing too fancy, but you do get the first six films on Blu ray. I'm just missing the Creed films. Just need to get on. And Star Wars Rogue One. We got the Saw Collection. All of them but Jigsaw. It's a franchise that gets a lot of hate for no reason. It's considered torture porn, but it's only the case in a few of them. And there's actually a pretty good story to be told throughout. It's almost like a soap opera. Scouts versus the... Or Scouts Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Kick-ass movie. I watched multiple times now and it's really funny. Scream. One, two, three, four, and a bonus, uh, I think there's like a bonus documentary too. Great franchise. I like them all. Three is a little weak, but one is one of my favorite films of all time. Gotta like Scream. The Shallows. Another great shark film. I have quite a bit of good shark movies. This is not one of them. Shark Lake with Dolph Lundgren. Shaun of the Dead, if this is considered horror, if you're talking about top horror movies of all time, this is a horror comedy, but it is my favorite. This is just all the lines, the characters, everything works for me. It's an Edgar Wright film, and it's my favorite of all time, besides Butterfly Effect. So it'd be number two of all time, I guess. The Shining. Here's Johnny. Everybody loves The Shining. Shrek 2 on DVD. Kind of random, but it's old. Sin City. This is, I always had a good time with this movie ever since its release. Really cool style to it. The Sixth Sense. Another movie I watched when it came out. I was like eight or nine. and It's pretty terrifying, that closet scene. And the scene with the girl, little kid with a sheet over her. In the room wow the puking great film with a good twist slumber party masker steel book love this film i found it was just mediocre first time watch and ever since then every watch it just gets more fun more funny and just more enjoyable snakes on a plane another pretty fun movie that no one seems to talk about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Is this the first, I think, uh, Disney movie ever made? Or one of the first? It's a classic. We got Spawn, director's cut. A film I thought was amazing as a kid. And not so much as an adult. Species. A film... Doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult, you're gonna enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just really fun. Spider-Man Two, which is weird because I like one a little bit more and I don't own it, and Three, which is a downgrade but still pretty good, still good enough. Sam Raimi. Saint Agatha. Star Trek. 
two, three, four, the old films. Star Trek, the new film, 2009, and Into Darkness. You have here the Star Wars. I got this Blu-ray set. I actually got it for fairly cheap for being out of print. It's a really nice set. Beautiful pictures. Just, just a great, great set. Get the whole, the whole family right there. I got it for like 25, 30 bucks. Really good uh, steal on that one. And we got the new one. Was it Rise of Skywalker? Only watched it once. I'm getting ready to watch it again real soon for a ranking. And you get my hands on all the other ones. Strangers Pray at Night Part 2. Better than the first one in my opinion. More my style. Sweeney Todd. The Johnny Depp Barber musical film. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. It was okay. I'm not in the musicals though. But the, the movie itself was pretty good. We got America. Team America, World Police, Uncensored. This movie is hilarious. I don't care who you are. If you say this is a stupid movie, I would agree with you. But it's funny as hell. <laughs> and when this released, I watched it like a million times. Well, it's created as South Park, so it's that style. Ninja Turtles, 1, 2, and 3. The Terrible 3. 2 is really childish too but it's still pretty good it's nostalgic for me and one's just the best we got the newer one which was just okay the michael bay one we got teen wolf classic michael j fox speaking of classic the terminator this is top three if not top two best films of all time so we had Shaun the dead butterfly effect and this are all some of my favorite Part 2, another, the best movie of my birth year, 1991, another classic, Genesis, it's okay, uh, Dark Fate, it's okay, people say it's terrible, I don't think so, I got this 4K steelbook for like 8 bucks, so I'm happy, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so hard to see with this light, but yeah classic my favorite of the franchise that one this is not this is probably second though the remake fail they live a super smart john carpenter film another smart john carpenter film but in a totally different way and the best practical effects of all time masterpiece the prequel's pretty good too, aside from the CGI. This is the end. Great comedy. Probably my favorite James Franco, Seth Rogen film. And it has an all-star cast. Everybody's in this one. Tower Heist. Mediocre little comedy that's not too bad. Okay, I'm finally on my last little stretch here. Bear with me. Coming to an end. But we still got Train to Busan, a great zombie movie, Transformers, the only one I own is the cartoon movie from like the late 80s or something. We got Trick or Treat, uh, one I watch every Halloween, even before I owned it, Under the Bed, Underworld Collection now. I loved Underworld movies. The first one in particular is too bad that I'm stuck with this extended cut version. It's the only uh, version you get on this Blu-ray set. The rest of them are all normal. It's just the first one. I always liked the first one. Rise of the Lycans was good. And I found even the last one, Blood Wars, wasn't bad. Unfriend it. Creepy ass film if you ask me. Don't bully people and film them and put it online. And then unfriend them. Terrible idea. Unsane. I just got it. Heard it was pretty good. Eager to check it out. Here's what I was talking about. Victor Crawley. It's really Hatchet 4. And 
people hate on this more than they should. It's super fun. Kills are great too. Wayne's World 1 and 2. I don't remember too much from 2. I just picked this up not long ago. But 1 was always fun. Wonder Woman. My favorite movie in the DCEU right now. This is amazing. I love it. Part 2 was not as good. World War Z Steelbook with uh, Brad Pitt. Another film where the CGI was a little much. Wrecked. One of the worst movies I ever had to sit through. Terrible. Wreck It Ralph. Cool little animated family film. Last little pile. Young Frankenstein. Mel Brooks movie. Your Next. One of my favorite. It, it is my favorite home invasion film. Love it. Love, love Your Next. Yummy. Just got this in my horror bag. Z and lastly Steelbook of Zoolander this is the the blue steel book <laughs> get it so there you have it guys that was all my blu-rays and DVDs for film like I said I didn't include TV shows or the music ones or a lot of my doubles or other stuff like that I think there's still a few shitty westerns and stuff down there but it's not even worth showing you they're like one out of tens so there you have it guys that's my video i'm gonna wrap this up because i don't want it to be three hours long so hope you enjoyed that leave a comment down below on what films uh, you really like for my collection and uh, anything else you want to ask me drop that down below and i'll try to get to it and uh, just thanks for watching guys